Well, here we are back at Noosa. It's been ages since I've been here. Should be a good day. We shall see. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm offshore Noosa today and it's been quite a few months since I've fished up here. It's about a two hour drive from my home, an hour and three quarter drive, so it's one of those things that you know, you've got to have a bit of time, especially in summer when the sun comes up so damn early around here. I'm with Andrew today and Andrew's got a FXHO Yamaha similar to mine and uh, he's a local boy and managed to get a little bit of live bait at uh, one of the little areas where I actually normally target the Mulloway. And we decided because the tide turn was still a few hours off, we went out to the fad, managed to hook up three times, lost two, caught one. I'll show you the highlights of that in a minute. And then we came back to the secret reef, which is my uh, spot where I normally target the mother way. So look, stand by and I'll show you what happened today. Got one on. Nice one too. All right. I'll take my time on this. Alive, yeah. Funny, I, one of them dropped it, and then he, this one came up and smashed it. Got off. No. Pulled the hook. Oh, oh no. size one. Thank you. 
short and easy. <laughs> it again he bit through Not as big as the last ones that I caught, but it'll do. Because that was my last livey. Wow, well, I finally caught one after uh, a few drop ones. Eh? It was my last bait too, so at least it was legal. So not a big one, but uh, big enough to uh, eat. Yeah, she's uh, yeah, about 75 centimeters. So the, other, the last two that I hooked up would have been Oh, another meter, meter mark for sure. But that was my last livey, so it's frustrating some days. Hey, we couldn't get the, the bait this morning. Um, and now the fish are biting, we don't have enough bait. It's, it's terrible. But one, it'll have to do. A bit of bait collecting. Okay, I'm going to uh, just show you how I do my live baits again. Um, so basically, I'm using a circle hook. This is about a 70 circle hook on a Paternoster rig. Uh, so the Paternoster rig is about the hook is about a meter off the bottom in the Paternoster rig. Uh, then I put a little slip knot over a rubber band like that. You can see that. And um, then I use a bait needle, pull it up under like that. Then I get my live bait, just sort of in front of their eyes with the membrane section there. Push it through, try to pull it through quickly, pull the rubber band off. And then I, if you can see it, I twist a couple of times this way, put, it, put the hook back under. And then I twist the other way. Put the hook back under if I can, try not to pierce the hook and that's it. So it sort of sits like that, put him in the water for now, find the spot. You on? I think uh, Andrew's on. Come off, pull the hook, gone. Bad luck. Alrighty, so we're in the favourite spot to catch Bulaway and I haven't been here for ages so it's going to be a hit and miss. I don't know uh, how it's going to go. I'm having trouble getting live bait so I haven't got a lot of chances of this. Although I just need the one fish really because most of them are normally around about a metre here. But um, there's another boat where we pulled up and uh, they caught a couple and they said that uh, there's a few sharks around uh, chasing the fish up. They've lost a few sharks so I'm hoping if I do actually hook one I don't lose it to a shark. But I think I have to hook one first so I'm going with the live bait, live yakka. Putting it right on top of a big bait school here. Seems to be a lot of fish hanging around the bottom of it. Big fish below. I'm hoping that uh, we shall get 
something nice underneath. I'm just hitting the bottom now. Check my drag. I'm gonna drag. I think I'm on already. That didn't take long, did it? Whoa. Straight on. I'm not worried about the sharks now. Just pretend the sharks aren't there. I guess I've got no choice because I could break off a fish like this. Take the time. We're in about 50, 60 meters here. Let's hope the bronzy doesn't take it because I'll never be able to stop it if the shark gets it. Decent fish. It's a decent fish. I'm a bit worried that a shark's already got it actually. All that stuff in the water is uh, coral spawn. It's that time of year where they, the coral reefs are north of here. You know, a few hundred k's north of here, they uh, spawn a certain time of year, and all the uh, polyps, whatever they call them, comes down and drifts past the Sunshine Coast where I'm fishing today. And it's a bit of a slick actually, it's a brown slick, but I guess it's a sign of a healthy ocean. Here it comes. That's a joy. Good sized joy, about a meter. There we goes. One drop. My God, that was quick. Very quick. That's how big it is. He's uh, looking about 112 centimeters, 100, 110, 110, which is a decent fish. Decent, decent fish. There you go. <laughs> 110. Hey, would you like a live bait? You go, you go again, you're all you see, you get two. Two? Yeah, you're right on the spot. It's probably just a bit over here. Let's show it. There we go. 110. 110 centimeter on the way. So that little episode there trying to get some live bait took me about half an hour. I got two yakas out of half an hour's work, so it wasn't very successful, but that's all I need, I guess. Um, meantime, the tide's sort of come to the change. We're sort of just getting to that change of tide now, which we're okay. Generally, we can do something. Do okay on the uh, change of tide here. 
But the best time has always been, for me, lead up to the low tide. Now, now. and we're on. Yeah. yeah. And we're on again. This one, maybe not as big. Hmm, wonder what this one is. It might be something different. Or just a smaller mile away, maybe. Hoping something like a nice step or something would be good. Good change. Oh, it's all right, this thing. I don't know, just a bit too vigorous for a Malloway. But this is definitely the Malloway spot. Hmm. So those live baits don't last long down there, even though there's so much bait down there. I think it's just a smaller Jew. Oh, geez, he's still legal though. Wow, he's still a legal, legal size. There's Andrew. Touch smaller. But he's legal. So I spent half an hour getting two live baits. <laughs> I better bring him on, hey. You can see the live bait in his mouth, he's, he's taking it head first. That's why I only use a single hook. Yeah, yeah this, this is the spot, isn't it, really? How big is that? About 90, I think. Yeah, 90. Well done. There you go. There you go. 90 centimetre. Hello, by the way. Probably a really good table size one. Really good flesh. I don't know, people denigrate these for eating, but uh, whenever I serve it to people, they love it. I don't tell them what it is, and they love it. So that's why we keep them. So it, things slowed down after the Mulloway and uh, I tried a little bit of vertical jigging and there's nothing happening. There's a lot of bait out here. You know, out in the deep water there's lots and lots of bait still hanging around. But I'm so glad to be able to get up here at Noosa in a weekday. So I think it's time to head back and uh, we've got a, you know, a much shorter trip than I normally do back to the ramp today. But then I've got that hour and three quarters on the highway to get home. So thanks for joining in again. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time.